results and mohair production. Let's dive into it. Okay, so basically about the general stuff and mohair and angora goats on farm. Basically, angora goats can produce mohair from a very young age, pretty much like soon after their birth and basically young angora kids can produce roughly 1.5 kilograms of fleas in which i think was the first year of their birth and basically the younger the angora kid the more their fleas is worth because um usually younger kids usually have better quality fleas and um so mohair usually takes up to about 20 to 25 percent of the goat's body weight and basically angora goats need good nutrition and it's usually shorn with scissors or electric and non-electric shears and they grow roughly one centimeters of fleece per month and they're said to be pretty easy to handle for for farmers and they are not usually bred artificially with like artificial insemination and they're usually naturally bred and they're usually shorn twice a year and this is pretty important and also they need pretty good care after being shorn because then they'll be very sensitive to chills and stuff and they're deloused with poor own products like permethrin okay so here are some angora goat characteristics both sexes of angora goats have horns and drooping ears though it's said that female ones have um smaller and less like curved horns and they are tend to be smaller than other goats and sheep that is kept at the farm which is a reason why they're so easy to um look after and take care of and basically the does can produce kids um until like they're 12 to 14 year old but they can produce mohair like their entire life until they're dead and basically they're pretty docile and friendly and they're also pretty good for shows doing shows and stuff and they're usually bred in pure white because like that's the best for dyes and they they can be dyed multiple different colors and though pharma has experimented with them and have dyed them other colors as well and here are some characteristics of the mohair they're usually strong and durable they're strongly elastic and differs in smoothness and they go very well with dye and currently it's worth more than wool in australia at least and because it's like it's more rare in a way in a sense and also they're more sensitive to wet treatments than wool okay so mohair processing basically the goat is first shorn and then classified and then the mohair gets packed individually and they get goes through a process called scoring and they kind of have this natural oil called linolin removed and it can lose up to 20% of the weight and then it gets carded or blended and the vegetable matters and it gets cut, removed and if if it's going through the worsted system which makes it smoother and basically it's nicer um, and finer it goes through com combing which um, removes the short strands and leaves the long strand and straighten it and then it goes through drawing which is basically taken onto a spinning frame and it's turned into a yarn and then it goes through spinning which kind of makes the yarn stronger and then it gets weaved into a fabric and about mohair dyeing it's basically best dyed at a ph of four to five so slightly acidic and it usually needs milder condition to be dyed than wool and the sticks to dye very well and absorbs it well and dyeing mohair is generally kept below the boiling point and even best better and best if it's kept under 90 degrees celsius and that's done